STEM is uh, an abbreviation for four words, science, technology, engineering, and math. But it means more than that, actually. Uh, when we use the word STEM, we're talking about an integration of all four of those major disciplines. What got me interested in STEM was that I wanted a career that was realistic, that there was a real need for. I wanted to work with intelligent, motivated people. I wanted to be a scientist since I was a little kid, and my first thought of that was I wanted to look at the moon in a telescope, so I thought I wanted to be an astronomer. And then my first question after that was, what is the moon made out of? So then I knew I had to be a chemist. In high school, I had a really, well, I, I had some good teachers, but I had in particular, I had a, one good math teacher. And I got confused one time reading something, and I went to ask her about um, this proof I had seen. She put together for me a, a really interesting proof. So she created, uh, she took something that was, basically there was nothing there. Like I knew nothing about this proof, and she took a blank piece of paper, and out of it she had created a really, really elegant proof. I see STEM education as an evolution in our integration of disciplines which provide a more unified, holistic approach to education. You integrate the science with the technology and the engineering, which applies the science and technology, with the mathematics, which is the language of nature. So that's all combined together to produce a whole that's greater than the sum of the parts. STEM is, if you're looking for you know, where you could make money, where, where the jobs are at, this is in STEM. In, in the next uh, decade, it's predicted that uh, STEM jobs are going to increase three times at the rate that other jobs uh, increase at. So Holyoke Community College really was a stepping stone for me that I needed. If I didn't have Holyoke Community College, I would have never been able to continue on and get my bachelor's degree and now I'm going on to get my master's in molecular and cellular biology. One of the ways that HTC uh, prepared me to succeed was they have two organizations. They have the CAP Center and the Math Center and um, me and a lot of friends, we spent a lot of time um, in those two centers working out our homework, um, asking any questions that we have. The other one is they, that we have an engineering club and we have our own room, which is really awesome. You bring lunch, a coffee, and you meet with a bunch of people. But really you just study together and go through the whole process of you know, getting through your math classes and your chemistry classes. As HEC students, we have the same opportunities as bigger universities and colleges. Um, I got to internship at Smith & Weston paid internship and there's plenty of internships that are paid available to all students at HCC. Um, also I applied for and received a grant from NASA to attend their week-long helicopter and UAV workshop which was one of the most fun experiences of my life. Um, so that's open to kids in community colleges as well. Have you ever heard of the phrase you get what you pay for? Well HCC truly defies that claim with astonishing results. The math courses I took at HCC really prepared for me to transfer my skills in a four-year institution. Having the support of the community and the professors here and just the environment, the learning environment that Holyoke Community College provides really pushed me to the next level and made me really enjoy science. And once you find something you enjoy, it makes you want to pursue that, it makes you want to learn more and always push for the next step. The faculty are incredible. They offer office hours you can go to at any time and um, they'll help you with your homework, any questions that you have, assignments, they're really flexible. They just want to make sure that you get the assignments, that you're staying on top of things and you understand. Having the experience at Holyoke Community College has really prepared me for the next step and has put me in a better position to be a good student and to enjoy science. We have a lot of exciting programs here at, at HCC and I'm going to encourage you to please look into all the different possibilities. We have some STEM 101 efforts to encourage you to just try different types of science and see which one is most exciting to you. You have to be innovative, you have to be creative in order to do something in STEM. People in STEM are respected and often sought after um, because their knowledge is valued. You need to follow your passion. You need to take up what most interests you and uh, develop that and become the very best you can at that thing that you love 
And that guarantees actually, I think that over the course of many years and your lifetime that you'll be a happy person. And that's what we want out of our graduates are educated, civically engaged, happy people with, uh, with their lives. It doesn't matter what class that you're in, what class you have to take as general requirements. Look for something you love in each one of them and you'll do well. All of these resources are at your fingertips and HCC is just the start. Um, transferring out into the world, whether you're going into a job or an internship or onto a four-year college, this place will totally prepare you as long as you take advantage of the resources that are here. Um, it's a really great pathway to get started.